All right, guys, Grand Training Systems, welcome back. Today we've got our wonderful friend Marla with us and a really cool stretch you've definitely seen before, but it focuses on lower back, all sides of the neck, and even the calf muscle and the hamstrings. So it's pretty cool. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so as you can see, we have moved the angle of the camera, the position of the camera, and we have prepped Marla for what she needs to do. So, Marla, go ahead and get back in your position. You're gonna notice she's gonna scoot farther away from the table because as she's gonna roll over into the stretch we're gonna do, you're gonna notice that her feet come close to the end of the table. One position that she could do, if she would like, is you can lay your feet flat like this. So we're just into the normal position of the stress that we would know. From this position, she's not really activating her hamstrings and definitely not her calves. But what she could work on is if you look at her head, she can go ahead and Marla turn to the right here a little bit. She can start adding different neck stretches or different opportunities in which she can lengthen those muscles or stretch those muscles. So as she's able to turn her head to the left also if you'd like, she can also start to point her chin down in different positions when she's stretching them. And what you will notice is you might find some spots where you really feel a stretch in your neck. This is fantastic because we're elongating that interior, that the whole posterior line, sorry, and this really puts the fascia in the upper portion of your body on stretch. Now, that is focusing on her neck and obviously the lower back. If we want to activate the calves and hamstrings in this, we have two options. One, keeping your feet up there, Marla. You can straighten, lock the legs out, and then just straighten your feet. But as you notice, when she does that, she comes to the tip of the table. And from here, what we're able to do is Marla is then able to use the end of this table to add a little bit of pressure now, activating her calf muscle for the stretch, and I think you definitely feel that a little bit more, right? Mm -hmm. And through this position, she can also continue to move her neck and focus different areas on that. And then finally, the real kicker at the end, which I have not told her about, so this will also be new for her, is when we're doing the stretch, we have two options really to how we want to bend our body in half. We have people that basically almost have a straight spine and completely move from the shoulder region. So what that would look like is if she chose to completely be straight in the spine and only come from the shoulders, and then we have people that choose to completely round the spine and get the same motion. Both are correct. It just depends on what you're trying to go for. If you want to elongate really the neck and work on the calves, then you can come straight from the first position where we're coming from the shoulder. However, if you want to activate the rounding of the spine and also the stretch or the elongation of the larger muscles, then you might want to do something where you're bending from the whole spine. Both can activate the calf stretch, both can work on the hamstrings, but this really just depends on your specific goals. So, Marla, you can go ahead and relax there. All right, so as always, Marla, thank you for the help. Thank you. Guys, I hope the stretch made sense. As always, Grant Training Systems, every social media account you can think of, especially Instagram and Facebook. We've got a special thing going on where we have a weekly event and we go into a daily exercise with descriptions on or instructions on why that exercise is important and the newsletter. If you guys have not signed up for the newsletter yet under gtsgermany.com, do so because then you get a special private video with lifestyle tips and success secrets. We usually do two to three a month and uh, yeah, the newsletters I think is quite cool. One of the subscribers here, and I think she's enjoys it. She hasn't unsubscribed yet. And uh, yeah, do that and find us online. Subscribe so other people can check this video out too. And until next week, peace.